Welcome back guys. Today we have a deck profile of Super Heavy Samurais and the sponsor of the new Machina deck coming out. Um, it's another Earth Machine based deck. However, this is a pure version. There will be a Machina version coming up shortly. So for the pure version, it all revolves around this big motherfucker right here, Big Benki. What he does is he allows your Super Heavy Samurais to attack while in defense position, protecting your life points and dealing damage to your opponent. Next off, we have Super Heavy Samurai Trumpeteer. He can basically special summon himself, and he kind of just like rides out for better synchro plays. Next, Scales. Scales is kind of like your revival, your play starter. What he does is that he summons himself out, and then he brings out another Super Heavy Samurai to come along with him. So ideally, you want to start with him, Trumpeteer, and you go out for a Synchro 6. And Primus, he does um, Super Heavy Samurai Magnet. He does the exact same thing as Scales, except for he will bring one out from your graveyard. Your, I guess, main monster is Swordsman. Um, while in defense position, when he attacks, he will make any monster he attacks into zero. So, he is your pretty much your main way of doing damage without Big Bang Q. And three, Machina Fortress. This, um, it's not the Machina build, like I was saying. However, Fortress is a necessity, even in the pure build. Um, simply because he allows you to get your Super Heavy Samurais into the graveyard to allow for all those revival effects and all for the jumping out on the field. Next, we got two copies of Super Heavy Samurai General Jade. And his main focus is that he's a secondary boss monster to Big Benki for the main deck. Um, he can special summon himself from the Pendulum Zone. And when he does, he's a 2,800 defense point monster that can also attack while in defense position. So if you can't get Big Ben Key, you want him out. We next have Flutus. Flutus is, when he's summoned, he can sack himself off and summon any Super Heavy Samurai you want from the deck. Um, he's your turbo card. However, when you do that, you can't summon anything else besides Super Heavy Samurai for that turn. Drum. Drum basically just allows you to take your opponent's monster and make a synchro out of it. Helper. Uh, Helper is just kind of like one of those combo extension cards um, to where it kind of just like makes the deck click. No other better way to explain it. It's also a level one, which allows for smaller synchro plays, um, as you'll see. Um, because with the entire deck being earth based, you can play the Nutrias. And. It's just really nice being able to shut down spells and traps. Two, Kabuto. Uh, Kabuto is another monster that makes your opponent's defense zero. And he just kind of like swings in for shit. Big Wargy. Big Wargy uh, will allow himself to be special summoned freely from your hand. And then he's counted as two tributes. So you can special him off and immediately go for Big Bang Cube. Soulhorn. Um, what we're getting into now is the super heavy gears or armor um, armaments. Um, they go on like equipped spells and they basically just pump up your samurais. Um, what Soul Horns does is he basically allows for two attacks per turn. Soul Shield, what Soul Shield Wall does is he boosts the super heavy samurai by 1,200 defense, which is pretty much like their attack stat. And if they would be destroyed, you sack off the shield instead. Your hand trap, Soul Fire Suit. So Fire Suit will protect from destruction while in the hand, but if it's equipped, um, a Super Heavy Samurai will lose about three to 400 defense, I believe, and then it makes them immune to spell traps. Soul Pierce. Soul Pierce does not apply any kind of stat change in effect, but what it does is that it allows for a Super Heavy Samurai to inflict Pierce and battle damage, and once it's sacked off, it becomes a searcher for the deck. We then have a secondary tuner for Super Heavy Samurai Fist right there. Um, he's just another level two and he can special summon himself back up. So it's basically like you're playing four trumpeteers. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Soul Buster Gauntlet. What this guy is is that he's kind of like an honest for the deck. You just uh, play from your hand, equip, and then it doubles your defense for a bottle. And Soul Bane Cannon. Soul Bane Cannon will increase your defense by a thousand. However, you can sack it off, blow everything up on the field, and then you do damage equal to the combined defense of all monsters on field halved. So, when in doubt, burn it out. What we have next coming up is the extra deck. 
And the extra deck kind of revolves around this guy and the next guy I'm about to show you, Soul Tank. What Soul Train over here does is that he can banish your opponent's entire spell and trap cards in the graveyard. He'll inflict 200 points of damage for each one. But he's also a 4,800 beat stick. We got two Sasanoo. He is the one you'll go and go into the most. He's a 3,800 beat stick. And he can also take spells and traps from your opponent's graveyard and allow you to use them. Once they're used, they're banished, which is a great way to get rid of pesky things that keep on recurring. QB, 2,500, just another beat stick. And a way to climb into the Soul Train. Saratobi and um, Stealth Ninja. Both of these are just ways to climb into Steam King. Um, you're not really going to use them much besides the Synchro Climb. But you need them or else you can't Synchro Climb in the Steam King. Ogre Shut and Doji. What Ogre Shut and Doji does is that he's a heavy storm for the field. He'll blow up all spells and traps on the field and just allow you to swing. Next, because we play nothing but Earth, we got two Natria Barkions and two Natria Beasts. Then, Ally of Justice Catastor. The purpose of Catastor is just to get rid of anything that you can't normally swing over. And he's a 5, which is insanely easy to make in the deck with everything being 1 and 4 or 2 and 3. Next, a little shout out from the old 5D era. We have two Unroll Fighter Baumung, which if you play back in Synchro Cat, you understand the Baumung loop. It's a perpetual loop that just allows for a monster to always be present onto the board. And worst case scenario, you can Synchro Climb into Steam King using it. Because 2, 4 is in the 2. And finally, the only rank we play, uh, Dark Knight of the Underworld. Um, it's just a really good rank A, and it's probably one of the better ones out there. Um, with that being said, this is the pure version of Super Every Samurai.